Scrapey was created by Zite, which was earlier known as Scraping Hub. So it's quite natural to try out the first cloud as Scrapey Cloud and the first proxy is the one provided by Zite. So in this video, we are going to work with Smart Proxy Manager, which was earlier known as Crawlera. The only prerequisite is you know how to deploy your Scrapey project on Scrapey Cloud. If you don't know, link is in the description. Before we talk about why you would need a proxies, let me show the practical problem that I'm facing right now. So the problem that I'm facing is that I am hardly able to scrape 159 items and immediately I am getting banned. So what I have done so far is I have deployed this on Scrapey Cloud. I was able to scrape 5200 items and then I started getting errors and if I open the errors, you can see 503 service unavailable error message. Let's come here and here we have smart proxy manager. So this is the crawl error, right? So there is a 14 day trial so for this exercise. A trial should be sufficient, but of course you'll have to enter your credit card details. Okay. All right. So I entered my credit card details. So you'll see this message here that we are now provisioning your account. So it will take few minutes. The account has been provisioned. It's saying waiting for your first request. There is API key and some code examples. So if we come to Python, here is the example of request, but our topic for today is not from the console. So we are not going to run the code from the local. What we want to do is we want to use the proxy from the cloud. So let's see how we can do that. Now, once you come to the dashboard on the bottom, you will see add-ons. So this is where you click add-on settings and you have to enable one add-on and this add-on is Crawlera. Just have to enable this and we can see this message here that it is enabled, but this is misconfigured. So we can directly click on configure. First of all, we want crawler to be enabled. So this proxy URL should be okay. Now we need the key. So the key is here. So let's copy and paste. I'm going to leave all the things as it is and let's click save. And this time if I run the spider, we already have thousand items in the log. Now here in the log, we can see that it is using crawler. At this time, if we come here, can see that okay congratulations on completing your first request and we have a link to the dashboard so let's go to the dashboard and here we can already see that we have sent so many requests and on the right side you can see these are 23 clean requests back to the jobs dashboard here we can see that 1600 items have been scraped oh by the way without proxy it took 15 minutes to scrape 5000 items, but then this IP got banned very quickly. Okay, I'm checking back after an hour. So it's been one hour. There are almost 40,000 items that have been scraped. But the problem is that I did not upgrade the Scrapey Cloud account and Scrapey Cloud free account has a limit of one hour. So that's why this spider execution was cancelled even when it was not complete. So the next step is that I'm going to upgrade to a paid account for Scrapey Cloud as well and I'll resume the video. The payment is done and I've purchased two units and here on the top right corner you can see that I have these two units which I purchased ready to be used. Okay, so let's click the run button again select the spider and this time I'm going to allocate both of these job units let's wait for some time and come back to it so it has been 22 minutes and there are 9500 items scraped so it's not very good so i'm going to click stop and let's make certain changes to the settings so let me show you some settings so concurrent request we are going to change to 32 instead of 16 download delay explicitly we are going to set it to zero concurrent request per ip and per domain will be 32 cookies will be disabled and auto throttle that also needs to be disabled but that is going to take a little bit of work. So let me show it to you. Now let me copy all these settings. Go to the dashboard. In the settings, I'll go to the raw settings and paste it here. Let me remove all the commented out lines and blank lines. Click save. Now these settings are saved. If you go back to the settings tab, you can actually see all these settings. We want to change the auto throttle. So that is controlled by an add-on. So on the left side, let's click on add on setup. We can see that auto throttle is enabled. Let's click on configure. And here we can see that 
even though debug is disabled the auto throttle itself is enabled so let's disable it and click save there we go so this is saved now let's rerun the spider so let's come back so going to the jobs dashboard so what we can do is we can click on clone so all these settings will be carried forward and we don't have to specify or remember all the settings that we used here and now if we click run the changed settings will take effect and i will come back and review how it is going on so it's been two minutes and i'm doing a quick review like what is the impact of changing all these settings so you can see that in two minutes we have 36,000 items scraped all right and while in the previous run for scraping 10,000 items it took 23 minutes so isn't this a massive massive change 23 minutes to scrape 10,000 items and just two minutes to scrape 40,000 items so it's going very well so and meanwhile if you look at the dashboard of the proxies we can see that 30 percent proxies have been used already so it's going on 51,000 items so let's come back to it and review how it is going and finally the scraping is finished how much time it took four minutes within four minutes it has scraped 62,000 items so i would call it a success all right so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one